Alright, what up, people? It's your boy E Man the Barber Golden Maple. And um, this is the story time of my most recent worst trip ever. That what can go wrong will go wrong. And it was diabolical. Alright, so um, this weekend, your boy finally got some free time. Finally took that uh that plane ride, first plane ride since the pandemic started. Head down to North Carolina. About to go get the crazy on, you know. <laughs> Your boy's a musician in the church, so um, it's our first conference since the pandemic, a uh, mass conference where everybody comes to it collectively. And um, yeah, and everything went awry. I mean, my plane, my luggage, uh, food, even though it's good, turned on me. Uh, missed the whole purpose of why I went back. So, while I'm cutting, so I just worked half a partial uh, day for Saturday. And you know, Saturday's money day. Because the prominent barber, you know, you, you can make about, about a stack almost on a Saturday. So I'm not gonna miss out on all that. Uh, anywho, uh, get a uh, alert, a notification from Southwest saying, my flight got delayed, one hour. No big. Plus, kind of necessary sometimes, because you know, when you got a flight, you be pressed for time. So I was like, all right, I can do an hour. Get another delay. Oh, your flight's two hours late now. Ah. Get another delay. Notification, boom. Your flight's gonna be four hours late. Oh no! I was supposed to leave at four o'clock and be down in North Carolina by no later than 5.36. So you mean to tell me, so you push it back two hours, so maybe I can catch the last bit of service, maybe like eight o'clock in the morning, after getting dressed and stuff. All right, so I, I can get, you know, get an hour at a conference, you know, meet and greet people. Hey, you know, your boy's here. I made it. I ain't forget about y'all. Hope y'all didn't forget about me. Hey, you look nice. Glad to see you. All that, you know. Um, but four hours? Bruh. I might as well stay at home, but. So I was like, all right. Well, I might as well have a good weekend because I had other plans. I had a, a friend I was supposed to link up with. Just say, you know, chill for a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe go out to eat. Um, but, hey, he looked rather nice. Um, I put her in a, a, you know, a cover for one of those, one of the, um, yeah, I think it was the compilation story time. Yeah, that's a, that's a real photo. Just the face is covered. I'll drop another one. Yeah, I'm supposed to go, go to the conference, you know, uh, enjoy the weekend, you know, just enjoy the weekend, relax a little bit, at least have a day to yourself. And uh, just enjoy Carolina and the food. <sighs> you know, cause you know, down south y'all be hit. All right, so flight got delayed. Didn't leave till about seven something, got there about nine-ish. Got to the conference about 10 ish. It was over. Alright, so along with that, coincide with that, you know, I'm waiting, pick up my baggage, waiting, and waiting. Everybody's clearing out. And lo and behold, they left my bag in Baltimore. Ah! And it wouldn't have been so bad if I could have seen, if I was, you know, late, uh, pressed for time, or uh, 
even like did it myself, you know, did the self checking and stuff. But I pay extra for, you know, uh, A plus priority. And I tipped them, tipped the guy that checked in my bag. And they left me. All right, so it was a couple things that I should have known this trip was about to be off. Um, when I checked in my luggage and tipped the guy that's supposed to have checked in my luggage that proceeded to leave my luggage in Baltimore, um, he was looking at my itinerary and was just like, oh, I see you're headed to Houston. Eh? Nah. Oh, my apologies. You're going to uh, Raleigh, Durham. I said, oh, that, that's nice. I'm like, hmm. Even though he corrected me. I still left it. So now you boys in North Carolina with two fits. The one I wore to the shop, but I took that along. So just a uh, traveling tip always take at least like one extra set of clothes. Um, so I had one extra set of clothes and I had my fit on. And after they left my luggage, you never realize how essential the little things are, like, you know, uh, socks and underwear and toothbrush and toothbrush case until you can't pick it up in the morning. Cause down south, all the convenience stores and big stores, they close at like 11. And I got in at 10 something and went straight to try to meet up with my people. But by the time I got out, the only thing that was open was, you know, gas stations. <sighs> and they didn't even have, it. oh, so don't have a luggage. Flight got pushed back, missed the conference, and your boys got, your boys got the dragon, you know. Oh, brought this home. Oh. But, you know, you gotta look at the silver lining of the trip. So the best part of my trip was, got to bring out the 2023 or 2022, New Mustang, black on black with the chrome. <laughs> Boy was whipping that, pulling up. Had a nice little trap church music going, you know. Boy, he do it. He said he would. You know, I the boy was dumping. You know, I had a I had a heavy foot over the weekend. I burnt out, burnt up like a half a tank of gas that that night. Um, because I I was trying to look for stuff that was open just to get closed because I didn't have nothing to unpack except my carry-on. Um, the cookout though, the cookout food is phenomenal. Uh, I got about probably like equivalent of a whole family meal, like a whole mukbang or a sampler by myself. I ordered like half the menu, got Cajun chicken burger, barbecue chicken burger. I had minced barbecue all chopped up. Uh, barbecue plate was minced barbecue, coleslaw, hush puppies, and fries for like $4.99. A big tray, take home the go tray. Uh oh. But that's the barbecue plate at, at, at the cookout. Um, if you have nothing else to do for a weekend and you live in the DMV area, especially if you're in the PG County, DC area, man, take, take that couple minute trip down the street and go to your nearest cookout. It is phenomenal for fast food, so cheap, it's so good. And they have like 40 different milkshake flavors. All of them be hitting. I got the very, my, my, my go-tos are either the berry banana, um, the strawberry cheesecake, or the peach cobbler. Uh, they got a banana pudding one too. Uh, of course, they got the classic Oreo and all that. Uh, chocolate and strawberry, but yeah, the pineapple cheesecake, pineapple banana, it, it's amazing. Um, the only thing is, like I said, what can't go wrong will go wrong. So. 
the cook out food had turned on me right before my flight. About three, four o'clock in the morning, your boy was on the toilet, blowing it up. I mean, straight. Oh! Nira Lee! Lord Jesus, please get this demon up out of me. <laughs> Merciful, Almighty. Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> ah, God, those enchiladas. <sighs> it was so good, and I put myself through the torture for just you know those moments of pleasure. So, um, yeah, that was my worst weekend ever. Most recent worst worst weekend ever. This. Missed the whole church conference. Flight got delayed. They lost my luggage until I had to come back home. And miss hanging out with my friends. Um, the best takeaway is I got a Carolina Panthers hat. Got to drive the new Mustang. And had to get memorabilia for me. So. Yeah. That's my weekend trip, baby. E-Man the Barber, enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, pray for me.